Hello, I'm back again with one of my top five series. Uh, this morning it's going to be uh, Neil Young. Uh, so we've uh, picked my top five. Feel free to disagree if you want to put that in the comments and put your top five. That would be excellent. Uh, so I'm going to kick off with number five, my top five. Um, on the beach. Um, that's, um, uh, it, it probably wouldn't get into most people's top five, but I think it's a cracking album. Uh, there's some, some great tracks on there that I, I quite like. I'm a big Neil Young fan, uh, and you may see my uh, not so big vinyl collection at some point combined with the box sets I got of his CDs. So that's number five. That's Neil Young um, uh, on the cover there on the beach, literally, uh, with a I presume it's a Cadillac, not being an American car and a table and chairs. A bit super trampish, perhaps. Perhaps they got the idea from there. Uh, this is in the, the original album series that uh, has been released and upgraded and uh, has, has caused much controversy over the cost. Uh, unfortunately, I paid the cost. Uh, so at number four um, is Neil Young. Everybody knows this is nowhere. Uh, this, this has got some seminal tracks. It's, his, it's, it's one of his first uh, releases as an individual. Um, as of this top five is just his individual releases. Uh, and this is a, a, it's got quite lengthy tracks on it, Cinnamon Girl, etc, etc. And that's in at number four for me. In at number three, and the top three are interchangeable on different days for me. Uh, as you're probably aware, if you know Neil Young, his music can be quite, um, it's quite wide ranging from heavy, stomping, grungy music right through to, to um, the folky ballads and stuff. It, it, it just impresses me all the time with his range. This is uh, after the gold rush. Uh, I think, I believe that's in London, the picture on the front, uh, where, the, where, the, where the album was recorded, I do believe. I stand to be corrected. This is another terrific album, uh, seminal. As I say, this could be number one on another day. Um, um, if my mood took me, and, and he is, I do think he is a mood listener, Neil Young. He could be in the right mood to live. Listen to tonight tonight, which is just outside my top five. But I thought I'd get a mention there because on another day it would be in my top five um, albums. Uh, this definitely gets to number one sometimes, but it's number two today. This is Russ Never Sleeps, and there are and I'm aware there are some sort of we're dealing with studio albums here, but some of these tracks are recorded live and then the audience noise taken off. Um, there we got the the Road Eyes. Uh, would be in this if it was a live uh, thing picture uh, and that uh, sort of Neil Young is, is most interesting in some ways stage wise with the big amps and the drums and everything uh, it's it's got uh, one of my Pocahontas my favorite um, one of my favorite tracks. I got a lot of favorite Neil Young tracks but that's when I keep I do um, powder finger uh, these, these are sort of the stuff that I love so we get on to number one uh, You've probably worked it out by now, but it's Harvest. Um, Heart of Gold, obviously, is the is the song that everyone will know about Neil Young if uh, they got any interest in music. This album is so much more than that. Uh, it's a superb folk rock album, I want to call. I don't know if anyone would disagree with me that. But it's in number one, and that's my, t my Neil Young top five. Thank you.